We started the adoption process after being married a couple of years and after trying for a couple of years to have children. And it just, it just wasn't God's plan for us. We had not yet talked about adoption, and so I just um, you know, started looking into it. And, and Brad was actually traveling a lot at that time, so I kind of did some research and, and just approached him about it. And We talked about it, and again, I was a little reluctant. Um, I think I was, I just didn't know a lot of the facts about adoption. I think I just kind of, you know, kind of been caught up in a little bit of the, some of the stereotypes that are involved with adoption. And so I actually read a book and it was Adopted for Life by Russell Moore. And for me, that really just kind of changed my whole perspective of adoption. And a lot of the things we did, even from, you know, from choosing our country to everything, was really a process of elimination. It wasn't, you know, we can't really just say here that we just woke up one morning and just had divine vision from God that this is where you need to go. I mean, I think we, we actually went to a, um, to a conference. It was kind of a required deal through our, our agency. And we went into the seminar really not, you know, our kind of set on Bulgaria and that's where we we're going to go and uh, we walked out of it uh, our hearts set on China and we just the next day I think we called and I switched all of our stuff to China we weren't too far involved in it and so um, that began the process of going to China. You know as we got involved with China you know we had the decision of do we want to wait for um, a healthy infant or even a healthy toddler or a child with, uh, with a special need and so obviously something we prayed about one thing we did that was very difficult is they gave us a list of um, special needs, things we would accept and would not accept, and, and that was that was a very difficult thing because we had to be very real with ourselves, the things that we were capable of dealing with, uh, both financially and in a lot of a lot of ways. So when we submitted that list, that kind of kind of put us in a category of, of children that they would place us with. So her referral came, and and basically we have 36 hours to. Uh, to accept her or to say, you know, we don't think she's the one for us and, and please keep looking. And so we just knew that God picked her for us. I mean, of the millions of orphans, she was ours. So it was just a no-brainer to, to accept her. We, uh, of course, like, I mean, like everybody else, we were super excited. Had our room already. Yeah. And <laughs> we, I think we brought, uh, we probably brought a huge whole duffel bag of just stuff for her, whether it be clothes, toys, all this stuff. So we were in China a couple days before. We were there for two solid weeks, but we were there a couple days before to kind of rest up. And then we went on a bus with other families to the civil affairs office, and we just waited for them to call our name and, uh, and hand her over to us. So, And they handed her to us, and she was in, like, shock, like, really sweet. And the whole time we were there, she was just really sweet sitting on her lap. But the minute we walked out the door, she just turned into a raging, angry little baby girl for the rest of the time in China. I mean, everywhere we went, it was all, I had all the, my strength to hold her. Everybody knew when the fleet would yes. arrive. Yes, and all the other kids were, I don't know if they were in shock. I mean, because they tell you that there's different stages that your child will go through, and, and there's a shock, and there's a like a trauma, and. But Allie just went straight to fitting rage stage and stayed there. I think we'd both admit it was it was such a struggle those those two weeks in China. You know, I mean, for us to sit here and say that our hearts were automatically connected with her, and I mean, obviously this was our child and we we loved her, but you know that bonding just like it didn't it didn't take with her to us automatically. I think it even took a little time for us to bond with her again with with the screaming and the fits and stuff. You know, really. As time went, and in, in, in very short amount of time, you know uh, that that bonding. I think both ways, us to her, obviously much quicker than her to us. But um, it was it was pretty evident. So, and she as she is now, she doesn't know a stranger, and she really didn't even brought her home. I mean, she would she would try to kiss somebody at the mall, kiss and hug, you know? and go with anybody. And, and luckily, you know, nobody with the cleft lip. She couldn't really curl her lips. Nobody really knew. Her lips would just curl up. They wouldn't pucker. So nobody really knew she was trying to kiss yeah. them. She had her first surgery. We got her in April. Had her first surgery in August, and that was to repair her lip. You know, she was a little shocked. I think the first time she looked in the mirror, she looked at it for a second, and she went right back to playing, and she never skipped a beat. And then her final surgery was um, was in December, which it'll be a year of this December, and that was to repair her palate. You know, for us, it was you know we wanted to complete our family, and now it. it I think we went into it wanting to complete our family and we left China um, and it was so much more than that. It was so much more than just 
us selfishly wanting a child. It was, it was actually, you know, bringing a child who we saw was so unhappy and so uh, just miserable um, and knowing that there's just millions and millions mm -hmm. and millions of them out there. And I to mean, think, though, that God even had this all planned. We just love her so much. She's just so ours that we forget that she doesn't look like us, too. I mean, it's just, I think I asked my mom, I don't know, not too long ago, I was like, do you think she looks Asian? My mom was like, yes, Abby. I don't know, and just God's grace to let us raise her is just amazing because He would trust us with her, and so we just love her like crazy. Like she couldn't be any more ours. He's my kid. Okay, what are you gonna say? Love him. I'm a little bit for your hand. Mm -hmm. Jackie, Mom, <laughs> Auntie, and Ellie. Yay! <laughs>